What do you think of women in other cultures and how they treat their men? Ooh, I think foreign women treat their men um, great. They have traditional values, they cook for them, they clean for them, and they know their roles. I feel like in other cultures, a lot of women are more submissive. Base. She's gonna say something stupid. She's gonna say something stupid. I swear to you, I already know. Find other cultures. Are we talking like where woman is like the the housekeeper and men do the work? I told you I could sense it. I could sense the dumb shit. But the women serve the <clears> men because <throat> those women they're doing a job, but I don't want to do that job. Those women are way better off. Way better off in life than you. You're gonna work till you die. It's a little bit more stricter on women, so like they can't really like do what they want to as far as going outside and like having fun and stuff in other cultures as much as they can in America. What is going outside and having fun? What is that? They act like these women are slaves, like they don't go out. They go out as a family and have fun. Men don't go out usually by themselves and have fun in those cultures. They take their family with them. They have fun with their wife. They just be talking nonsense. <laughs> Do you think those women are ignorant slaves or are they happy? Um, I think they're doing what they need to do to get by. I think they're doing what they think they're supposed to. Oh, no, they're not ignorant slaves. I believe most of them are happy and stuff. My grandma's a traditional woman and she's very happy, so. They treat their men very well. They actually worship their men. Um, I see a lot of standing behind their men, um, waiting for their men. Um, even just the other day, I saw this lady get out of her Uber, leaving her husband in a car and just walked away. Um, I wouldn't see that in a <laughs> Eastern country or a more egalitarian country. I think it's because they want to. The only reason why I'm gonna say that is because of the way they're brought up. They're told differently to like, you know, actually do certain things for that man that just comes second nature. Because they want to, like, nobody out there are like first girls, they're, they're free. Like the girls, like, choose to do it. They're from a different country. Nobody's forcing on one. Yeah. Countries that aren't necessarily third world um, don't have as many infra uh, doesn't have as much infrastructure, or as many opportunities, or as many options. Um, so it kind of forces the woman and the people there to kind of follow structures that are a little bit more traditional and, and a little bit more natural to them. Do you think those women are ignorant slaves, or are they happy? Uh, they're happy. Um, happiness um, is when you can have a family and you can grow something from scratch, from nothing. Why do you think so many men are traveling overseas to find wives in other countries? Men are traveling overseas to find wives in other countries? Why? I'm right here. I'm single. No, Why? No. I want to be married. Yeah, I doubt it. You're probably like 30s. Never had a serious relationship. Trash. Right, but I'm saying, do you see typically see women traveling if, overseas if to find husbands? men are traveling overseas to, to countries that have less money and less education, it's because they want a woman who is dependent on them for their livelihood, for their resources to have a good life. And I don't think that that is a good thing. A lot of the men I know that go overseas to find wives are not great dudes. Let's stop, stop. They're not, they're not rich. Let's say they're not rich. They're not rich guys, but they still deserve a woman to, to respect them in their household, to care for them, to, um, to treat them like a good person. Like a, like, I don't know. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Can you be more specific? Yeah, they're pervy. What are your thoughts on 90 Day Fiance or Passport Bros? Uh, the Passport Bros makes sense. Um, I, I can see why men are incentivized to look elsewhere for more traditional um, qualities in women. Um, 90 Day Fiance, though, uh, I think they have a bad record of matching terrible people together. Ooh, I'm all for passport bros. If you want to go somewhere where they're going to love, respect you, cherish you, cook and clean, and they... This must be the YouTuber right here, name. It's Tay Tay Baby. She, she's, she's based. Understand their roles, you should go somewhere where you're loved because women in today's society, especially modern day women, not all women, it's just you guys forgot your roles. You're supposed to cook, you're supposed to clean, you're supposed to love your partner and take care of his heart and soul, just like men take care of us physically, mentally, and they provide for us. They never forgot their role. So men, if you want to be a, a passport bro, I support it 100%. Have fun. When it comes to exotic women, what cultures do you prefer and why? <laughs> Hispanics, I guess, I like better. Is your space more... Tokyo shit, bro. Big booty Latina. 
on looks or behavior? Right now, I think looks, like we're young, so yeah. the only thing yeah, we, we think about it, like, you know, have fun. I'm Jamaican, so I would naturally prefer my own culture. Um, why? Because there isn't much of a cultural barrier to, or a language barrier to uh, go over. Um, but also, there is a stereotype that Asian women are a little bit more traditional, a little bit more feminine. Um, so I'm pretty, got my eyes on them as well. When the woman and the men have a... Got my eyes on them too. The man is uh, by everything. And in the American, uh, we share, share the man and woman share when we have a date. So you're saying in uh, Vietnam, he pays and in America, they split. Um, like they share, they split the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the American, you share the money. Okay. okay. Yeah, you know. is, do you like that? Which, which is better, Vietnam or in America? I think it's uh, American is uh, better. Yeah, better? better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because um, uh, the good men have a work and the men have a work too. We say it's uh, for, for fair. Yeah. In uh, over there in Italy, it's more like for the family and for the husband, like uh, cook, clean, and all this stuff. Here is more like, oh, you're a, you're a man, you can do it. Or like, uh, why well, have to do it for you when uh, I work? Yeah, but I work too, you know? So if I work and, uh, and I'm gonna do it, and you work and I'm gonna do it, like, who's gonna? I'm not changing the oil. I'm not taking the car to the shop. I'm not ch changing tires. I'm not doing none of that. I'm not, <laughs> anything I'm supposed to do, I ain't doing it then. How about that? We equal, you can do it. You change your own oil, you fix your own bricks the house is gonna cook women are definitely equipped with a lot more traditional um skills i.e cooking cleaning um and a con i would say is they're just as sometimes very uh assertive or outgoing as some of the males are and uh yeah feminism is kind of creeping its way in just little by little what do you think the reason that men are not like satisfied with the women in this country and they're looking elsewhere outside? Men are satisfied countries? with the women in this country? Who, where are you getting this off of? Well, I'm passport bros and uh, the outlier. Half of marriages end in divorce. Um, 80% are filed by the woman. 90% if she's college educated. I would say a lot of men are tired of you. If you know what I mean. A lot of them. It's time to clean up. That is the exception to the rule. I don't think the majority of men are not happy with women in this country. Does a woman's behavior play any role in how she's treated by men? Yes, yes, huge role actually. Um, how you carry yourself and how you um, behave towards yourself <coughs> and how you treat others is a very good indicator on how, of how people treat you and, and how you actually expect to be treated, so yeah. So why are people so quick to blame the man when things go wrong in a relationship? Because it's still their fault. <laughs> Why is that? Um. Evil. She talking about this other woman. She's evil. She has an evil life. Talking about everything is men's fault when it's their fault. One word, trap. Ran through. Well, because I'm a woman and I know best. <laughs> um, that's because men are always willing and ready to take the responsibility, even when things are going to shit. Um, I myself have taken blame for things that I haven't necessarily been responsible for. So it's just a thing that men are innately going to shoulder, shoulder the burden and the responsibility, even if it's not ours to bear. Do you believe it's a man's duty to respect a woman regardless of how she treats him in return? Uh, no, no. Uh, reget, uh, respect begets respect. Um, you being disrespectful, of course, there's a line that men try to not cross. Um, but that's a situation where you just need to exit the situation and leave right away. Does a woman's behavior play any role in how she's treated by men? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So why are people so quick to blame the man when things go wrong in a relationship? Because the men are supposed to be the breadwinners. That it's easy to blame them. <laughs> because women don't like accountability. Women don't like being wrong. And no in fact, she said a key word, they lack accountability. But he holds women accountable. They enable women. So it's easier to blame the man, like always. It's not always the guy's fault, but people are quick to judge the guy faster than they are the girl. So why is that? 
I don't know, people just perceive men bad. They do. And I don't agree with it, but that's just how guys are perceived. So there are good men out there. You just gotta kind of, you just gotta find them. Yeah. Get through them. <laughs> yeah. Who is more likely to be expected to settle for a partner that doesn't treat them right, men or women? Wow. Um that one's that one's tricky, but I do wanna say uh men. Uh men nine times out of ten they date and marry down. Um, so they're going to be the ones that are going to be more than likely unsatisfied. Maybe it's not the majority of men, but it's starting to become a movement. Well, fuck you. Go away. Go find your women wherever you want if you're not satisfied. I don't know what nice. to tell you. If you want a woman Ooh. who barely even speaks English and just has to suck your dick, uh, go for it. That's Well, I'm just asking on behalf of those men, I suppose. So, If your average man is treated better by women overseas, why do men prefer to stay here and play the game when the odds are so heavily stacked against them? Well, I think it's because it's what they know. And the thing that the United States has going for it is that the money's all here. So we all have to make a living and support ourselves and our lifestyles. So that's the reason, because you see- There's money everywhere. Stop the, stop the lies. Support the other countries. There's money everywhere. End up missing our culture we grew up in when you live in another country, but I'll tell you what, it's such a different feeling when you're in another country, how great you get treated as a man. Essentially, why should men spend so much time Eminem. grooming themselves to please the toxic women here? They take what they can get because they have to. That's how society has played them into, you know, doing that. You know, good men aren't appreciated. So um, I feel as though there's some men who do groom right. themselves for women because men want to provide and protect and all that good stuff. But I do feel like it's part of their thing that they want to do for themselves. I don't think men should do that. That's just my personal opinion. Groom yourself for you. Love yourself for you, not for other women, especially in today's generation where women are showing they don't care about men and they don't give a shit about them. Yeah. Why are you more likely to see female empowerment in first world countries? Wow, great question there. Well, it's again, it's our culture. It's passed down from woman to woman depending on where you're raised. That's why the family unit is so important, man and woman raising the family, because it gives you the correct outlook on life. And lastly, if there was one thing you wish men understood better about women, what would it be? Uh, understood? Yeah. I think the man cannot understood woman. Why not? Um, the woman, they always, uh, um, think another one and say another an, another one. So why do we have the expression "Where have all the good men gone?" But nobody's asking "Where have all the good women gone?" Ooh, that that's a good one. That's a good one. I feel like there's still is good men out here. I'm not right, saying <laughs> I'm not saying there's no good women out here, but I feel like all the feminists and the women that are like bad are shouting from the rooftops, and there's not enough women, um, you know that. Care about hey, yo, I say this all the time. It's always the, the idiots be the loudest. The, the good ones don't be in front of the camera. They don't care about that. They don't. They're probably they're somewhere in Montana, somewhere in some um, Alabama. They're some some different city, not in these major cities, not in L.A., Vegas, Atlanta, Miami, New York. They're not in these big cities. I mean, these big these big these states that have big cities. Men that have a big voice about it. Are women the problem or are the people influencing women the problem? It's all the influences on women, actually, since when they're little girls. Me raising two girls now that are teens as a widower, you see it. I see what they're, they're bombarded with on a daily basis. It's definitely our culture. Wow. I, 100 percent the people influencing the women are the problem. Naturally, I think women know what's right and they know kind of where to fall into place um women know they're weaker physically um sometimes even mentally um they know sometimes they really depend on, on on men but because of the messaging and the marketing that's so powerful it's going to be hard to get away from uh, that brainwashing it's not really fair because you know we're persecuted for every decision we make that's why when you find one not brainwashed you gotta just take you gotta take hold on couple they be all white already. They be already married at a young age. But women are allowed to act trashy and and disrespect themselves and disrespect men. But no one wants to stand up and say, "Hey, enough is enough." 
Why do so many men think foreign women are the answer if many of those women will use men for citizenship? Because they can get about a five levels of a higher of a partner than they could here in the United States. And that's the trade-off. I think men in, innately know that there's always a trade-off. There's always something that they're willing to give up and that they're willing to sacrifice to find love. Yeah, because even if you go to another country, it's still a trade-off. When you go and fly out and you meet new people, it's still going to be some type of trade-off. You're going to go through language barriers, culture barriers. Um, this is going to be different things. But I would say over here, you trade off way more than what you would over there. A couple words, some language here and there. Like, we even if you don't speak the same language, we both know our roles. Like, um, you going to another country to find love is already an arduous and difficult task. So uh, they know that there's obviously going to be some drawbacks. A lot of people don't want to change their lifestyle either. Like a man probably contending his lifestyle that he has here and he don't want to change his whole beliefs and whole custom and learn a whole new country. So why are yeah. men always expected to sacrifice while women are always expected to be compensated? Uh, again, uh, we're the ones willing to do so. Uh, we don't have a problem with sacrificing even now like sure having to work uh 23 hours a day we'll do it because it's a sacrifice we're willing to make uh, it's just something that comes with being a man um uh, women um i don't think they're willing to do it and that's what's going to be the major difference if it wasn't for sex do you think men would be willing to make that sacrifice <laughs> no <laughs> so isn't it really all just about the power of the vjj yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Power to pump pump. Chair, how do you feel about that?